Hey, what's happening, everybody? Um, I just got this, uh, my first Bluetooth, uh, remote. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna try to turn on a different light here. This uh, Bluetooth air mouse and keyboard. Stax Vercade. Let's see if I switch it. And then the back's got a keyboard. But you got your power button. You got mute button. You got home button. Back button. Directional pad. Menu button. Rewind. Play. Fast forward. Volume up and down. And then the air mouse button. Uh, your numbers. And then light button. I haven't programmed these colored buttons yet. And then your standard keyboard. Uh, and then your directional pad here. Yeah. Yeah, let me shut this. But I'm going to... I. Uh, it works great on the shield. And that's what... Those Wi-Fi dongles... I've just been losing signal. And I have... I think it's because I got all the all my other Wi-Fi stuff and it's I'm gonna shut off so we don't get such a glare but I just wanted to show you how it works on the shield and stuff and then show off my, that I got my Plex going but first of all I don't know if we can see this but I'm tapping the light button see that light and then you flip it over and it lights up the keyboard side flip it back then that light will light up every time but I mean it I'm just toggling around there I'll use the air mouse Let me uh, open up here. I'm just going to open up browser. Use my air mouse. Go up here. Turn off my air mouse. Just start typing. down home button double click home button dismiss things back out but yeah it works slick guys I've never had a Bluetooth controller except I did pair the fire stick but that doesn't have the volume up and down and I still use when I'm programming I like this Q9 keyboard just because I'm used to it but then once everything's programmed just sit back with your remote get you more of that TV style feel for the people that don't like the keyboards and stuff but those keys they light up good it's just not showing on the, my camera alright now I'm going to show you show off my Plex a little bit I only got like 36 movies in here I can click on movies and then I can do uh, alphabetical order here mm -hmm. 
but I just you click on it play it and these are these are 30 I mean some of these are 30 to 50 gigabyte 4k files This my camera ain't gonna do it justice, but but I can't stream these off of uh, any add-on or ABK. But once I put them on my Plex server, they stream no problem. I mean, look at that that quality. But a lot of people are having problems when they try to stream in Plex because you start to play it and your Plex is uh, is automatically trying to convert it it tries to convert to 4 megabyte per second at 720 so you have to go in your settings and say play original and then you won't get no buffer because when it's trying to convert it it starts to buffer so what everybody needs to do go to that home page go up to your account settings and then down through here there's a setting to shut the automatic adjustment off I do max on these settings and then on the play smaller videos I turn it on when a video file is smaller than the quality above try playing the original video without converting this preserves full quality but playback may pause frequently automatically adjust quality will be disabled for these videos I think that you have to turn that on but also this audio quality I think Oops. Where'd it go? Let me get back up there. settings my PC's bogging down because I op my P Plex servers on my PC and and I'm screen recording on or I'm I got this big recorder program so we're just gonna have to take it slow <laughs> while I'm recording this So yeah, this is how I have my video quality set. But I think you also have to change the audio quality to original. We'll find out here in a second what the settings are in here. Yeah, I switched that to original. So just if you're having buffering issues, if you if you use Plex and you have buffering issues, then just check that. Make sure you're set on original here in the audio. And then make sure those videos are set up up there. Just go through your settings and but I believe it's just the audio quality that you need to s switch. Let me get this out of here. <laughs> so we can speed up normal. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, with this, with my uh, recorder program, it's really 
taking the bog down. But yeah, this is my setup with my side load channel, and I can switch up wallpapers. I just got a whole folder of NVIDIA images here. So I can just switch it up anytime I want. Get bored and just switch it up. My Cody. That I made while I'm waiting for. the dig server to come back on but I also grabbed a fork from C Corey's forks but I also signed up for that free uh, premium eyes oh yeah my control my this controller won't work in Cody I gotta configure that But you get you sign up for that premiumized free account and use the one of these uh cached torrent sites that scrape cached torrents. It's just unreal the amount of links I mean I have my real the bridge signed in also, but <coughs> Sorry about that. But just the the amount of links that you're getting with premium eyes and real to brid. I don't know how long that premium eyes will be free, but. It's just insane. I'm just going to cancel it now. <laughs> Once you get that high, you got plenty. your premium eyes right there our real to bridge right there go back try stars born I don't know somebody in my group our group wanted to wanted people to do videos to show off their setup so I'm showing this Q9 keyboard I like because it has that power button puts the shield in sleep mode and wakes it back up and it also has this back button that, that back arrow button when you're in certain browsers that back doesn't take you back but this arrow key does take you back and all the keys work the home buttons the home button the e buttons the internet but all the buttons say what they want to do and plus you can uh oops change the color by just swiping across you got a whole slew of colors to pick from and then turn off and on but this thing was only like thirteen dollars this one here is twenty seven dollars but like I said it's Bluetooth air mouse and it totally kicks butt with the shield
But yeah, there you go. There's more premium eyes here. But yeah, if, while you're waiting, I made that video on how to put some add-ons in your Cody 18. So just put whatever you want in there. I just put a few popular ones. The 7 of 9 does cache torrents. Numbers does cache torrents. Loki does cache torrents. Yoda does cache torrents. And I don't know about these others. So that's my Cody there. Um, but that's the fork I did of Cory, but it has the same icon as my other Cody. So I made a shortcut for that icon there. See, that's Cory's fork. And it looks the same as a Cody, so I didn't want to get confused. So I made a shortcut icon right there. So I could tell the difference. So this is my... So once Diggs Wizard's back on, I'll throw whatever build he's got for 18. Hopefully Zen on with the arcade. But for now, I just use my Cody 18 that I got from the official site. And then once Diggs is back up, I will get that going. But yeah, this little keyboard, or this little remote, is awesome, guys. Always do a couple speed tests just to check your speeds out. Oops. And then while we're here, you see this ping time? So if you're using Ookla, you can go into the servers and see how my server is 143 miles away. So it automatically picks the closest server, but watch this ping time. Yeah, 63 millisecond ping time. So even at a higher speed, you're, it's still not going to be I like to connect to my ISP, which is Spectrum. So I go all the way down the list until I find my Spectrum. And then you highlight it, and then you favorite it, and then you test with that server. See that ping times 10? So that's what I like, the more consistency and the lower ping. All right, that's enough. I just wanted to show off the my remote and then my setup on the shield here and the Plex server. I'll try to go back in here, but it'll probably bog down my if I don't have the my app going there. It does fine. But just click play. You can hear my PC. <laughs> And boom, you're playing your movie. And like I said, these are 20, 30 gigabyte files, so they're not no joke. But yeah, you got your reviews down here. Go into more. Settings. Select subtitles if I have subtitles downloaded. Gives you a little info on it. And here, I'll switch now. I'm going to switch to my uh, 
I'm going to switch to my screen recorder and I can show you where what my server is. So here's my Plex server. And then I have my uh, two terabyte Seagate hard drive for now. And then I just put the movies all in there. So that's a little bit about the Plex. Alright. That's enough. Love you guys. Peace out. Happy streaming.